So for today, we're going to be looking at the Guardian Games Eververse stuff. Uh, obviously, G Guardian Games just came out today. And why does that hunter have that cloak? Excuse me? That's not the cloak. <laughs> what? Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's just get right into it. First and foremost, the Rivalry Black Sand Shader is up for sale. This is probably one of the better uh, shaders from this. At least in my opinion, I really do like it. Um, we have the Cherry Blossom Entrance, which is, if you're a weeb, you will know. Uh, Hot Commodity, which is a really, really gross shape or a uh, ship. And Half Volley Shell, which is, uh, it's a, it's a ball. That's really it. As for the stuff, uh, here is the Hunters. Looks pretty cool. I haven't bought it yet. I'm still thinking about buying it. And unfortunately, your boy only has enough for one. So I might not even do a review video this uh, this event, which is completely fine considering I don't think that blue changes color. Um, if it does, then this changes everything and I actually might have to purchase it with real actually money. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, I can justify it because I haven't been playing Destiny 2. I've been playing other stuff. But now that I say that out loud, I, the fact that I haven't been playing this game probably shouldn't be um, destroying money on it because again I'm playing other games that are far far more worth my time so I'll have the Titans and the Warlock right now As for the other stuff, we have the armor from last year and the armor from before that as well, which I definitely do not recommend buying these because the blue, red, and yellow do not change color. So just be aware of that if you are interested in those armor sets. Uh, the spin finisher, this, the knockout punch, the shuffle and scat, and that's it. Uh, for the ornaments, we have this really cool one for the uh, Vex Mytho class, which it looks cool, definitely. But at the same time, it's just a shader difference with like glow. So for me, I really don't care about that. And then we have the skin from last season, which or from last uh, for last year. And it still looks the same. Cool, cool. And obviously we have other stuff here. We do have a really cool shell. I think it looks really cool because it has a lot of sponsorships from like Dido, Hake, Clovis Prey. Like just, it's it's funny. I, th I think it's pretty cool. And then the champion shell, which don't really care about this. And overall, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here as well. I just, I don't like this event. Um, we're just gonna go to the towers so you guys can see what you actually have to do. Uh, what is this? Go. So I'm not the biggest fan of this event only because it really divides the community in an unhealthy way. Uh, competition is super duper nice, but I don't think it's at its best at the expense of like it's us versus all of you guys. Like it's us hunters versus titans versus warlocks, and it becomes it it makes the community get really toxic. And I don't think uh, Destiny 2 really needs that type of image. This is the worst event I think we've we have, like morally, I guess you would say, because it's just it it really turns vicious. After not not vicious, but just toxic in general. We definitely don't need an, an event like this. I like the idea, but Bungie just need, needs to realize like this is a this is a loss. Uh, recuperate however you can and just uh, make another event. Because I'm not saying like, oh, make an event where it's like kumbaya and all this shit, but Guardian Games is definitely toxic and it can get really racist at times for some weird reason. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Guardian Games. I Like I said, I'm not the really big, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I think it's probably the worst event we have in Destiny 2. And I've been through all of the events in Destiny 2 and Destiny 1. So for me to say that's pretty wild. Um, 
even then like i still think the revelry the one we had before this was way better like just put that back it was cool uh, the armor was pretty cool i thought the armor was pretty sick because we ended up getting a lot of like royal um very bougie armor like that one year we had it and i would have liked to see more of that so not surprised that this looks dope as fuck uh yeah it looks pretty cool like last year like literally last year so let's see this cloak i have not seen this cloak yet and i hope it's cool as fuck okay Ooh. okay this looks oh this looks cool all right the unfortunate part is i know for sure the gold is not gonna change color yeah that's fine you can definitely work around it it's just a little bit more on, on the annoying side because i would have liked it if it actually mm, damn this is cool but it's just at the same time the gold really kind of kills it especially since it's an orange gold which we don't have a lot of orange golds in the game um, we have more of this like a distressed yellow gold we have a lot of gold in the game if you guys want to see a video on it i have been thinking about actually making a video on it let me know in the comments below so okay uh we'll do we'll do arc because that's the best one for hunters oh wow okay oh oh wow there's a lot well these are from like fucking the first year so that's fine uh unauthorized departure that looks pretty cool so i'm guessing depending on who you pick this up on or whoever has it on it changes the insignia i'm guessing um burning okay shader look like from from here it looks cool i'm gonna be disappointed though because it's not gonna have any of these colors for sure i'd be surprised i'd be very surprised <gasps> okay yo wait a minute wait a minute no you, you, okay okay this is in black it's a charcoal black um, charcoal brown no it's it's black but like brown i don't know this looks dope though yo this looks good how do you get this shader earn via rack em up triumph okay how do i get um dude so that shader is pretty cool should be under this one season of the arisen yeah Guardian is here. Uh, what is it? Rack them up, it said. Here. Get the ship there as well. So I'm definitely not excited to be doing a bounty simulator uh, 2022, but the shader alone has got me interested. All right, so accumulate scores in Guardian Games competitive and training playlist. Defeat combatants and earn Vanguard medals for higher scores. All right, it's not going to be too hard. Uh, there's four of them, though, so good luck. Not even good luck. Just like, do you have the patience? That's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I will be doing a review of this whole event uh, soon. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, wait, wait. Are they like, can you step up? Oh, okay. No, I'm dying. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, are you guys excited for Guardian Games? Let me know in the comments. Bam, some already bought wild all right so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on social media let's links are in the description below uh if you guys are wondering about the challenges we have already caught up essentially so week 10 is usually the last uh so yeah i did week 10 last week which means that there's no more so these are all the the challenges that are going to be up for a while i may make a video like probably today or tomorrow or next week actually i'll probably do it next week just so people can get a reminder of that's it these are all the challenges and then i'll go through all the challenges but yeah let me know what you guys think and i'll see you guys later